Hello, everybody. What do you say, gang? It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave a comment. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell. Uh, also, my latest novel is out. You can find all three novels on Amazon. There's a link to the newest one in the uh, uh, description below. This is ICYMI, in case you missed it, and uh, also some uh, corrections I need to make. And um, I'm going to start with uh, the first correction, well, the main correction. Um, I said that Arizona uh, did not observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and um, I was I was uh, called out about it. And uh, indeed, every state formally recognizes the day. Uh, Arizona was the last to do so, um, and they actually call it Martin Luther King Jr. Civil Rights Day, I believe. Uh, so take that for however you want. Um, but some, some states have a joint Martin Luther King, Robert E. Lee Day, uh, King Lee Day, uh, Alabama, Mississippi. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of states uh, celebrated uh, uh, Jackson Lee Day for uh, former president of the Confederacy and, uh, and Robert E. Lee. So anyway, um, I wanted to make sure I clarified that, that, uh, that, that Martin Luther King Jr. Day, um, it's Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Civil Rights Day is uh, how it's officially uh, worded, but it is recognized in Arizona, and I, and I do apologize uh, for that. And um, we'll move from that to a quick look at what's going on in the news. Uh, grand jury to probe Trump's efforts to overturn Georgia election results. Uh, they're trying to take this guy down legally. And uh, just like as it got closer to the election and more and more uh, extremism began developing, um, if they do indeed try to uh, or, or get close to taking him down legally, uh, look for him to call upon anything and everything that, that might try to save him. Um, stocks end higher after a dramatic sell-off. Telescope reaches its final destination a million miles from Earth. And down here is uh, something I think we need to be aware of. The United States places up to 8,500 troops on alert for possible deployment. What's going on? Uh, Russia is just about to invade Ukraine, and uh, we have, we've, uh, we, when I say we, it wasn't me. The Biden administration has, uh, I say we as United States citizens, but we didn't do it. Uh, anyway, it's been made clear to Russia that, you know, any incursion will not be tolerated. We'll see how that goes. Um, when Hitler began taking over Europe, the beginning of World War II, um, there were a lot of warnings that, you know, don't do this or else. And, and um, once it started, it just kept going. That's a, a concern. Um, just, just because of world peace. And for somebody that at the end of every episode, I wish you peace. Um, it's a concern of mine. It's just something that you may not be aware of it's and in case you missed it something to think about um but definitely something that is troubling to me now um the next couple of cuts real quick are from uh friend of the show ford fisher news to share off of facebook um i'm gonna go to this other one first here we go and uh Okay, this occurred Saturday uh, over the weekend, and um, according to Ford, let me read what he what he has here. 
uh, fascist group the Patriot Front infiltrates the March for Life in uh, DC film by Ford Fisher. Okay, so um, I'm going to play a little bit of this and then uh, and then go to Ford's uh, Facebook site to watch the video in its entirety. It's like an hour and 19 minutes long, but. Uh, These are bicycle police surrounding the group. And that's, uh, they're called Patriot Front. Uh, we'll pause this for just a second. They're called Patriot Front. And uh, if you say, uh, that sounds familiar. They showed up in Philadelphia one night and uh, some uh, uh, members of the black community as well as some others um, basically ran them off. I don't know if you remember that, that but it's on an, I've got it on an episode. So uh, this is the same group. And uh, again, um, this was Saturday. Okay, for, for those of you that are uh, Catholic, uh, those of you that have Catholics in your family, or those of you that have uh, studied various religions around the uh, around the world, uh, the, he was giving a Hail Mary, uh, a Catholic uh, call for grace um, to the Virgin Mother of uh, Jesus Christ, just for those that may not know. And um, this group um, infiltrated, is Ford's words, uh, a march for life. And um, what I think, what I think we're going to be seeing, and and what this next video um, might possibly show again from Ford Fisher News to share, go to see that on Facebook, and uh, for the video we just saw in its entirety, and the one that's upcoming, we're going to see uh, right wing extremist groups coalescing very quickly. Uh, as I said, the. The more trouble Trump appears in, he's going to start putting the call out to those people, whether it's public or through private channels. But um, it, it's it's been um, it's been a concern, and it still is a concern to peace. No matter which side you're on, you know it, it depends whose side you're on, whether you're a freedom fighter or a terrorist, and. Um, that's not what this is about. This is about making you aware of the stuff that's going on because our country's messed up and it's in a situation that at any time could blow. Um, and that includes natural disasters, which I'm not going to get into in this episode because that's not what it's about. But uh, one more quick thing uh, from Ford here. Uh, this, this is a, uh, a massive march in Washington, D.C., from the Washington Monument down to the Lincoln Memorial. I'm not going to show the whole thing again. Uh, go see Ford Fisher News to share on Facebook. And uh, this may be an example of what um, not only, because this is, this is not only extreme right-wing groups as we know them, but that this is also some right-wing groups that might become extreme out of situations. Okay, it's, it's not a hockey game. It's not y'all against Canada. So I don't get that part. Chanting USA, USA, USA. When you're in the USA, we're, you're basically calling out to everybody. You know, you're not claiming, and you can't claim. Maybe that's the that's the distinction. That's the problem, is you can't claim something that belongs to everybody. You just can't, and and it's arrogant, 
to think you can. And it's incredibly narcissistic to think you should. with the turnout, especially on a colder day. You know, we woke up, it was 10 degrees here in D.C. People came out because people are truly waking up to what's going on, and that's why we're here. So to beat the mandates, D.C., we're walking over to the Lincoln Memorial right now where it ends. We're going to be walking to the left of the reflective pool. When we end there, we got some amazing speakers today, so keep in touch. Okay, again, this is, uh, this is happening. This was happening yesterday, marching from the uh, Washington Memorial, which you can see. Uh, back in the uh, upper upper left hand corner, as I'm looking at it, it may be upper right, and you, if we're mirrored, um, walking from the Washington Monument down to Lincoln Memorial. Anybody that's spent any time in D.C. at all, or have seen uh, probably seen enough TV shows that you can visualize it in your head where where they are and what they're doing. And this is uh, this is people that are demonstrating to stop um, mandates of people being required to be vaccinated for COVID and people uh, being required to uh, wear masks. No more mandates. No more mandates. No more mandates. No more mandates. Okay, so uh, again, just... Um, Wanted to give you an idea, make you aware in case you missed it, make you aware of what happened. If you want to know more, you want to see more, um, feel free to uh, uh, check out Ford Fisher at uh, News to Share or um, just Google one of the topics. And again, we don't tell you uh, we, don't, we don't tell you what to think or how to think. Um, we just give you things to think about and draw your attention to things that you might have missed or things that need more attention drawn to them. And at the end of every episode, I say, uh, don't be a doofus. And a lot of times people say, can you define doofus? And when I originally started the show, that's what it was gonna be, me doing stupid stuff and, uh, and showing people doing stupid stuff. Uh, it turned out to be some, a show totally different and I'm blessed and gratified that it did and I thank all of you for watching. Here's an example of a doofus from this weekend's uh, uh, football games, last night's football game between the, uh, the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs at Kansas City. Now, if you watched the game last night, you didn't see that happen. Uh, Buffalo Bills wide receiver Stefan Diggs, who was lined up getting ready to uh, get the ball snapped to the quarterback, uh, Josh Allen. Uh, a guy ran onto the field and decided he was going to go grab the ball. And uh, Diggs decided he wasn't. Stefan Diggs decided uh, no. Uh, and and uh, this happened once a long time ago when I was a little kid. A player ran out on the field like that, and and a uh, uh, defensive player, I believe, and I, it might have been the Baltimore Colts. I don't know, but a uh, defensive player whacked the guy and and like you know hospitalized the guy. And he said, "Look, you know, the guy invaded my workspace, and um, he also um, broke a civil, um, I don't know, broke a civil ordinance or something that they announced at every game not to get on the field. And um, so he was enforcing it. And uh, Stefan Diggs in enforcing this before law enforcement gets there. So um, actually, let me just run it back and just start it from the run and uh, take it to the end.
Okay. Um, so that's what it means to be a doofus. Uh, don't go running out onto the field in uh, professional sporting events. Um, I've got a personal story about that, that I, I didn't do it, but I'm not going to relay that. And uh, a family member will thank me at some point if they ever see this, that I didn't go into detail. Uh, but don't do that. Don't be a doofus. And, and if you think that was a funny thing, um, you, you're not aware of, of where we are as a society. Uh, that guy could have got a gun in, that guy could have had a knife, that guy could have had uh, incredibly, bad, incredibly bad intent. You know, the, um, don't be a doofus. And if you don't think that was a doofus thing to do, tell me why in comments and I'll respond to you. Um, I might even have you on the show just to, just to find out if, no, I'm not going to have you on the show. If you don't think that was a doofus thing, I'm not going to have you on the show, but um, I might respond to you in the comments, uh, but don't just, don't do it just to light it up because we see through that. I've got a very small audience, but they're incredibly intelligent. And uh, I thank all of them and I thank you. And uh, if this is, by chance is your first time watching, thanks for watching it all the way to the end. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. And uh, as always, it is the American Doofus Show, but don't be a doofus. I do, I, I wish you nothing but peace. I wish the world nothing but peace. And uh, we can never get through, you never get close to a situation like that without um, having understanding, without having acceptance of differences and having tolerance of differences. And uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, realize how small the differences are and how great, how much we have in common is, in my opinion. So uh, namaste, uh, shalom, salam. Um, Blessings in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, if you're a fellow Christian, and may nothing but peace be upon you. But whatever, don't be a doofus. Love y'all.